Hello drone community, this is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School and welcome to this week's edition of our Drone Weekly News Roundup. All right, here's what's going on this week. First, we'll talk about how you can now get Lance approval for flying a drone at night in controlled airspace. Second, teeny tiny drones being used to pollinate flowers. And finally, I'll show you a really cool drone developed by a former NASA rocket scientist that can stay in the air for up to three and a half hours. All right, let's get into it. Over the past few weeks, the FAA has been rolling out near instant airspace authorizations to fly at night in controlled airspace through their system LANCE, which stands for Low Altitude Authorization and Notification Capability. At the time of recording this video, the only LANCE-enabled apps that will allow you to do this are Aloft, Airspace Link, and Wing, but I'm anticipating more apps will have this capability soon. If you're familiar with how to get LANCE approval for operating controlled airspace during the daytime, the process is very similar uh, for, for doing it at night. The only difference is when you indicate the time of your operation within the app, you can now enter nighttime hours. So if you want to fly from 11 p.m. to 2 a.m., you'll just plug those times into the app that you're using. And if the maximum altitude that you're requesting is within the permissible range, then you should get approval within seconds of submitting the request. And keep in mind that to do all of this, you do need to have your Part 107 license. You need to have equipped your drone with anti-collision lighting per the rules for flying at night. You also need to have completed the night operations training that the FAA started including in the Part 107 test as of April 21st this year. So if you took your Part 107 exam prior to April 21st and you haven't yet taken the FAA's new online recurrent training and, and test, you will need to do that. It's a free training. doesn't take more than an hour or two to get through. We'll link to it in the description notes uh, below this video. All right, next up, drones the size of your palm could help make up for the declining bee population by doing the work of pollinating flowers. For years now, the bee population has been declining. In the U.S., we lose 30 to 40 percent of our honey bee colonies each year, and that trend shows no signs of slowing down. This is important because bees pollinate more than a third of the world's crops. Without them, we could be in really big trouble. So, um, Giannis Aloy Monas, a uh, professor of computer science at the University of Maryland Institute for Advanced Computer Studies, has been working to develop a tiny drone that can artificially pollinate crops. Hopefully the bee population will rise and we won't need to rely on these. However, it is great to see solutions being made to protect the act of pollination. Hashtag drones for good. Okay, lastly, we wanted to highlight a cool drone startup this week. Their name is Advanced Aircraft Company, and after four years of development and testing, they just launched what they're calling the Hybrid Advanced Multi-Rotor, or HAMR, Unmanned Aircraft System. HAMR is like hammer, I'm gonna say hammer. Much cooler. Uh, their drone is unique in that it's powered by a hybrid gasoline electric engine. So three and a half hours of, uh, of flight time. That's longer than the 20 to 25 minutes most of us are, are used to. The Hammer is open platform. There are two different payloads. It can be tailored for a variety of use cases like infrastructure inspection, uh, atmospheric research, surveillance, search and rescue. Anywho, we love featuring up and coming drone companies. So if you know of any we should check out, let us know in the comments below. All right, folks, that's all we've got for you this week. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on the latest drone news. Remember to check out the links below to read more. Thanks for watching, and to all of you drone pilots out there, blue skies and safe flying.